Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer question on the email here. This is from Elliot. Elliot's writing in. He says, great channel. Have you spent any time with the new Lumix? Do you think the G9 is the silver bullet to lure away X-T2 users? Do the colors and glass of the G9 Lumix rival that of Fujifilm? Cheers. Well, thanks for your question, Elliot. And the quick answer right off the bat is no. I haven't got my hands on the G9 yet. And they actually, here in Canada, did not do a press release, so I didn't even get to physically hold it and play with it for a few minutes like we usually do. However, everything I've seen from the G9 is very positive. All the reviews and, and, and whatnot that I've read and seen online is fantastic. And I'm very interested to see this camera and to get my hands on it and do a review. Um, is it enough to lure away X-T2 users? That's a good question. Um, you'd have to nail down what you feel is missing in the X-T2 that you're going to get in the G9. Because the X-T2 has got a very good autofocus system. The X-T2 does uh, 4K, and the X-T2 has a larger sensor. So pro I, um, I think that even at high ISO, the X-T2 is probably beating the G9. It may be close, but I think it's still probably beating it. Also, a lot of times when you buy into the Fuji system, the glass is a big draw. They have some beautiful, beautiful pieces of glass. I mean, I love just their 18 to 55 f2.8 to 4 kit lens. Uh, let's see here. I don't have that on the X-T20. This is the 20. I've got the, um, the new 50 f2 on there. Um, but I do have it sitting over on my other desk in the office. Uh, and I love that lens. As I've said many times, it's probably one of the best built kit lenses I've ever seen. It's beautiful construction. Fit and finish is great. And it's very sharp and a very uh, good lens. And it's an f2.8 to 4. So, um, I don't know. I think Fuji shooters, I, I don't see too many Fuji shooters going to the G9 as a photographic camera. I think what it may do is allow people that are already in the Panasonic system that might be using other cameras for photography, maybe the G9 will be their silver bullet. But I don't really see Fuji shooters um, coming away from the X-T2 um, for G9. Uh, do the colors and glass of the G9 Lumix rival that of Fujifilm? That's a tough call, too, because um, I guess, you know, the, the Lumix stuff is great. I mean, uh, what do we have here? My favorite lens is on this uh, GX8, the 42.5mm um, f1.7, one of my favorite lenses of all time uh, for primes. Uh, sharp, beautiful, small, light. Um, love it. Um, does it rival X-T2? It's probably comparable to something, to, to, to the similar lens on the Fuji system. Um, is it better then? I wouldn't go that far because Fuji has fantastic lenses too. So rival, does that mean, is it on par with? Sure, I think it would be. Uh, but uh, again, it's, it's a very subjective thing. A lot of people just love the Fuji system and the Fuji lens offering. And... Um, the, the Panasonic has some great lenses, but the strength of Panasonic has always been video. And yes, I know the G9 is trying to appeal to the photographic side of things, but it's a tough question when you're saying, is it the silver bullet to lure away XT users? I personally don't see XT shooters, XT2 shooters coming back to shoot a G9. I think they might add a G9 to their stable if there's video features they want, but... What do you guys think? Let me throw that back to you. Um, do you think the G9 could be the silver bullet to lure away X-T2 shooters? Um, does the color and glass of the G9 and the Lumix you know, lens offerings rival that of Fuji? What do you guys think? Uh, do you agree with me? Do you have a differing opinion? Let's uh, hear what you have to say in the comments below. Always great to get your feedback. Um, let's... Uh, Get a little discussion going on that. Thanks for your question, Elliot. Looking forward to hearing what everyone has to say, and we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.